Welcome back to Random Rick Reviews. Today we have the official magazine of Xena, Warrior Princess, issue number two. So I grabbed this off eBay, pretty cheap. I'm a big Xena fan. I was like, well, this is cool. I'm going to pick one of these up. I don't have any of these magazines. It's a little beat up in the corner here, as you can see. But it doesn't really matter to me. It's probably something I'm just going to keep for my collection. Uh, so this is the third season. Looks like they're going into. So you have Joxer, Ted Raimi sounding off in here. Callisto interview with Hudson Layak. And looks like a giant Gabrielle poster. I like this cover. It's pretty cool. So you guys even here with the shock room. This is probably around 1998. Looks like it's published by Tops, and it was five bucks at the time. Well, 4.95. Let's take a look at it. Xena purple here. So you see this a lot of. A lot of Xena products. This, this pose here. So the trading cards by Tops. Right there. We got features. Here comes trouble. All right. Let's see what we got here. Forum. So a lot of text. The Xenaverse. Uh, Lucy Laws did the, the Grease, I think, play. Talk of the Town. Shock Room Chatter. Where's the Crossroads? Well, tell me, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of information, it looks like. I guess Season 3. Here comes Trouble, Callisto. Definitely a great villain. This is uh, the Hudson Lake interview. Trading Places was a cool um, episode where the uh, Xena and Callisto switched bodies. I thought the acting was really good in that. Conjuring the Fire Demon. So. Gabrielle. I wonder if that's the poster they're talking about. Kind of hope not. It's not great. Probably is, though. Screenshots. Got your Power Star collection over here. The deliverer guy over there. He was kind of corny. I mean, lots of stuff on the show was corny, but you know what I mean. This is cool art. I like this a lot. You know, here's the poster. It's nice it's intact. We left it in here. It looks like it's threefold. So, um, probably issue one, or maybe the next issue, probably had the part where Xena is on the other side. I would think, I would hope. I hope it. If I come across it, I'll grab it. That's cool, the posters in here. Wow, this is a really good picture. I like this a lot. It's cool art. Scoundrels, scamps, and scatterwags. Bruce Campbell down there, Simonius. Lena conquers comics. Yep. So Tops made some comics. Then later on, Dark Horse. And then I think it's a Dynamite, maybe. All right, I'm really happy with this pickup. Just because like art like this is cool. A little Xena comic that I'll have to read. Nice. Ted Raimi interview, Joxer. I know on the podcast, me and RTF talk about bumbling, how you can't stand it. Joxer, I liked. Yeah, he kind of he kind of grew on me. He was like the right amount of comic relief. I got a story of Callisto here. So probably some of her backstory and what happened to her and why she uh. Xena's main enemy. A 
You're not main best enemy. What's this? The making of Xena. Er, you are? How the internet's most ambitious online adventure game came to be. Hmm. Never heard of that. I was just talking about the like the interactive PC games he had that were pretty pretty bad. So I have somewhere. Collecting Xena. In the shock room for 275 bucks. In the stone. Some collectibles, pretty cool. Yeah, show really kind of took off. Uh, there's the Xena animated movie with Hercules. This isn't, I can't say it's very good. I have it, it's not, it's not the worst, it's not the best. It leans more towards not good. Cool cover, that art in there is awesome. Um, oh, Mark. I don't know. I'll try to clean that up a little bit. Let me get that off. Uh, but yeah, this is, this is definitely pretty cool. So I found it cheap off eBay. I've got a couple of these. Very, very happy with this purchase. That is the Xena Official Magazine, issue number two. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night wherever you are.